Hey everybody, as promised, we're going to start our emergency preparedness uh, series on the channel. And so to begin with, what I've got in my hand is a uh, Medlin Extra Talk GXT radio. It has like 52 channels and all the little sub channels where you can get 2600 different channels, blah blah blah. And it has weather channel. But there's something a little bit better in my opinion and I'm going to show that to you right now. What I have here is the Cobra Microtalk. I'll try to bring it in. It's Cobra Microtalk. I don't know if it'll focus that close up. But what it does have is a one touch access to uh, weather channel. So hurricane coming in, lightning storms, uh, you can keep these and other members of your family can keep these and communicate with each other and in my location here in Southwest Virginia you'll probably only get about two miles max if you the stated range is line of sight so if you can see that person you can talk to them otherwise obstructions such as buildings trees houses etc uh, the mountains you're not going to get if this is a 23 mile, you're not going to get three, 23 miles out of it because all of those obstructions will block the signal. But what I really like about this, most of us have power packs and I can charge this with micro USB. I don't, yeah, you can sort of see it in there. So I can charge that with micro USB. It comes in a pair and I'm going to put up a link and I think you can get them on Amazon. So that's one. Something that's a little bit cheaper. It does not have any two-way communication, but you can certainly uh, get weather alerts. Is This is an Eaton Microlink FR150, Foxtrot Romeo 150. And my wife got this for me one year for Christmas, probably... 10 or 11 years ago and this is an excellent little radio it has an internal battery that has a solar panel in the top as well as winding or dynamo so you wind this up for about 30 seconds and I get about 20 minutes worth of uh, uh, radio or the weather channel out of it you can also recharge this with a I forget it's not micro USB but it's one of the little USBs then I just have a dongle that I charge it if it's not sitting out in the sun so that's something else it does come equipped with a flashlight and I've already looked up and I'll include a link uh, that you can go online and look for that uh, you just want to look for AM FM WX which stands for weather and most of them will have a flashlight and such so that's another now to step up from this it's uh, still charging this is actually a discontinued model this is the ambient weather and they do make a lot of great products but this is the weather ambient weather and not sure the model of this one either this one was recalled because the lithium batteries had a problem with overheating possibly even catching fire and even when I received it you can notice that this is supposed to have a rubber cover that seals the ports but uh, this looks like it's charred or something but all I did was take the old batteries out put new batteries in and I haven't had a problem over the last two or three years and this one has the ability to charge your smartphones at least once and it also has the dynamo cranking and um, it has solar charging as well so you can crank this up or you can leave it out in the sun and charge it you can charge your cell phone you can also uh, let's see if I can get this out probably not with fingernails but yep I can this not only has a rechargeable battery 
but it also has three alkalines. So you can flip the switch if this rechargeable runs out. And I primarily use it on rechargeable and use my alkaline or lithium for backup. So you can flip the switch and switch which power source that you want. Just a note that solar and dynamo or hand crank will not charge these. They are non-rechargeable, but it will charge this little, I think it's a CR123 Alpha. So uh, it will charge that. And it, uh, this one also has an alert function. So if you have it on radio, AM or FM, then if an alert, if you have it set to that, it'll start flashing. And I believe the little flashlight, which is not bad, okay, for around the home or campsite, uh, especially if you're out camping and you know a storm may occur, especially in the winter or, excuse me, the summertime, then you may want to have that. It has this handy little clip that you can attach to a ridge line, uh, hang it on a branch, so that's real handy. And um, this one is discontinued, like I said, so there's not a link for that. But we're going to step up from that. This is the Midland, or Midland, however you decide to pronounce it, the XT511. This is two-way communication, AM, FM, and weather band with alert and it also has an alarm clock so this also runs on rechargeable or uh, standard AAA batteries let's see if I can get it in there and you can see if it'll focus it'll say battery source and I keep it on rechargeable so this one's going to be one of the most expensive at about 90 bucks but it does come with a shoulder strap if I never use it, I keep it on there so I don't lose it. Uh, but you could use this for a small 22 single shot or something. So it could have multi-purpose functions. And it will also, as I said before, this is my junk room. But it also has a, a little microphone. But you don't have to have this. It comes with it. But it also has a microphone here in the front next to the speaker that you can just push a button to talk and that will get you. This was advertised to um, about 5 watts which is the maximum FRS or GMRS frequency. So there we have two-way communication, AM, FM and weather band. And this comes in at about the highest or most expensive piece of gear that I have listed. Now. This is probably my favorite. But this is AM, or excuse me, this is FM. It will pick up ham radio. You can program it to the FRS channels, and it too comes with a light. And I have programmed uh, police, fire, uh, other various first responder uh, frequencies and I don't know the price right offhand so before I post this video I'll look it up but I don't think that this is that expensive you can also get a battery pack that will disconnect it'll slide on just like this one but it plugs into a cigarette lighter in case you're moving it is not against the law to own a ham radio. This, I think, is on a two meter. And it is only against the law to push the key button and talk on it if you don't have the correct license. So, I've tried to shoot all of this in real time. I'm going as quick as I can. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll come back with another emergency preparedness video next. Thank you.